parasite rule is a rule that's used to get the area of something that has an uneven shape, like that curve. And the way we get something that has an uneven shape is we split it up into rectangles. Yeah? And I've already shown this to you in, um, in estimates. So I split it up into rectangles. And I will keep. Now, the distance between each one of my rectangles has to be consistent. And any one of them distance in the formula is h. And h is known as the distance between each rectangle. And I keep going until I get my last rectangle. Of course, we know the narrower each rectangle, what about the accuracy of my area? The more accurate. This is called y1. It is the first. Yes. And that is y to the end. It is the last horizontal part of that rectangle. And the area then is given by the formula. And that means it's approximately equal. It's not 100% accurate. It's equal to h over 2 times the first one plus the last one plus twice the rest of them. And that formula will give you the area of that shape. And that is known as the trapezoidal rule. So what is the trapezoidal rule used to do? To approximate the area under, under the curve. The more accurate, the, the, the smaller the distance between each rectangle, the more accurate your approximation is. So in order to use this formula, what do you need to know? You need to know the distance between each rectangle. And you need to know the length of each one of them perpendicular lines. Yes? Okay. So just say that was 10 meters, I'd need to know that one 13 meters, I need to know that one 13.2 meters. They're my y1, y2, y3, and so on. Yes? But in this formula, you have to take out the first one, and you must take out the last one. And it's twice the rest of them added to together. And that formula will give you the area under that curve. It is known as the trapezoidal rule. Right? So what? What does it do? It gives you the area under a curve. Two. So what do you need to know? You need to know h. You need to know y1. You need to know y2. Up to the last one. And when you know all them, the area then is equal to h over 2. Approximately equal to h over 2. y1 plus yn plus twice y2 and y3 up to y n minus 1. Fill it into that formula. Mathematically, it's straight, pretty straightforward. Where would we have used it initially? Well, if we had a lake shape, and we want to get the area of that lake, we get a line that would go through the middle of it, the most accurate line that would break the area in half. And then what we do is we divide it up into rectangles. Yes? That side is one trapezoidal rule, and this side is a separate trapezoidal rule. What about the distance between each one of these vertical bars? It's all there. Really, what am I dividing it up to? A series of rectangles, and so on. I'll be a little bit over in places, I'll be a little bit less in places, and it'll give me a fair idea of if I want the area of Loch Coral. How am I going to get the area of Loch Coral? I'll take it off the map. I'll scale it. I'd section it out, and I'd work out the area of each of the rectangles. Yes. What about using integration? Well, I don't have a formula for this curve, yeah? If that curve was of the form y equal to x squared minus 2x plus 6 grand, but it won't be. Yeah? And that's how we work out the area of 